Hey everybody, it's Steph Mistruck with StudioWeb.com. Before I get into this video blog, I just want to quickly mention, uh, yeah, Harold Ramis, star of Ghostbusters, director of Caddyshack, dies at 69. Sad day, February 24th. Uh, he wrote all kinds of great stuff, Animal House, blog, Ghostbusters, uh, you know, Caddyshack, etc. Yeah, yeah, anyhow. All right, so in this particular video blog, I want to talk about something I addressed in a bunch of uh, tweets that I put out lately, well, recently, excuse me. And it's all about learning code. Now, as you guys know, I, you know, besides the killer sites, we do uh, uh, the Studio Web system, which schools are using now. And now we have the academy.studioweb, which is basically the same system that schools are using with the certification, but available to the, to the public. So this is your basic interactive training, et cetera. But anyway, so um, here we go. So one of the things I've seen out there in their attempts to try to teach kids, uh, what people are doing, uh, they're coming out with these, uh, these cold block, visual GUI type of programming languages, if we're gonna call it that. I guess they are, I suppose, where you drag virtual blocks of code, but they're not code, you see these blocks, you know, so a block which shows you an if, and a block which shows you this and that. And they kind of sort of do sort of programming, and the idea is to introduce concepts and to teach kids program. Now the problem with this is that, well, I don't, I don't, believe, in, I don't believe in the GUI drag and drop programming, as I put here, because, uh, number one, because there are no... Um, there are no popular programming languages uh, that are drag and drop GUI based. Uh, it's all hand coded. It's all coded stuff. So the text that you see, real code. It's not not blocks. And so, if you teach somebody basic concepts of programming with blocks and images and GUI type of stuff, you're not really teaching them the skills that they need uh, to become real programmers in the real world. Uh, I can't think of a, a top li any language these days that are you know that's actually used in real work that uses a visual uh, system of dragging blocks into place. It's actually an inefficient method. Now you can argue teaching people how to code with with, with visual uh, blocks and so on uh, can have some utility in in the sense that it will teach them basic concepts and so on. And maybe to a little extent, yeah, I would say the most you can get out of teaching people how to code with these GUI-based systems, GUI is short for graphical user interfaces, um, is maybe 5% of the way. But I could get you 5% of the way uh, instead of over, uh, you know, two, three days of dragging blocks around, we could do it in, you know, t 10 minutes with uh, code teaching. See, the key to teaching code properly is having good teachers, and um, and teachers who know how to teach, but also teachers who know code and understand how to teach the important parts of coding and programming. That's a that's admittedly a rare combination to find someone who can teach and understands code at the same time. So I, I can understand why uh, various companies and various organizations are trying to figure out some clever way and I, in my opinion, gimmicky ways to try and teach code, but that's just me. Um, another reason why I don't believe in the GUI, uh, the visual code uh, editors, if you will, versus writing real code, is because um, one of the functions of becoming a programmer, one of the things you have to do, or a coder in general, is you have to develop what I call the nerd eyes, the ability to look at code and just to see very quickly even at a glance, once you have some experience, whether code is structured properly, where there might be some problems in the code, and it's uh, it, it 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 comes with time and it comes with experience. You know, it's kind of like it's like my father is a hunter, and when he goes hunting, he can you know be walking in the bush and he'll he'll see like a you know 50 meters away. He goes, oh look, you see the partridge under that bush there at uh, two o'clock and I'm looking, I can't see it, but because he's, he's experienced, he's a, hey, he has a trained eye to be able to see that partridge hidden there, camouflage, 50 meters or whatever meters away. 
where I can't see it, uh, he keeps he's push, trying to point it out to me, I just can't see it. Same thing with code, that's what Nerd Eyes is all about. You have to start working with code as quickly as possible so you can see uh, what's going on in the code base as quickly as, you know, uh, easily. Um, so when I talked about, uh, you know, the GUI-based training programming languages, and I say that with hesitation, but, you know, I, I think about the top languages that are used today, Java, uh, PHP, JavaScript, uh, Ruby, Python, C++, Objective-C. None of these things uses Lego blocks or, or visual blocks of code. It's all handwritten code. So you have to, if you're going to be teaching somebody coding, you have to quickly get them in front of code so they can start developing those nerd eyes. That's just my two cents from teaching this stuff since 2003. And I believe that you don't need the gimmickry of visual coding uh, systems or training tools to teach people code. You just need good teachers. And that's about it. Next video.